guys, what's up? It's Danielle. So for today's video, I'm going to be taking you through the updated look at my ARC Junior. So I'm just going to start and get this out of the way. The pens that I'm using, you know, there's a couple more since last time. So I am still using a, or actually, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I'm using a friction pen only on my monthly inserts because I find that, you know, as things change, I like to be able to take stuff out and add stuff back in. So I am using a friction, but only on my monthly spreads. Still using Pilot G2. This is the mini. I believe it's in a 0.7. And I'm, you know, I've always loved these. So I'm kind of switching back and forth between this one and some of the 0.5s that I have. And then I'm still using this color mild liner. It's kind of like a pumpkin-y orange. And then I'm also using this, which is a fountain pen, only for certain things because I have only had this for about two weeks now, and or actually a week, and I've already figured out what types of paper it bleeds through. So trying to be mindful of that. And as you can see, I've already gone through an entire ink barrels worth. So need to put another cartridge in there. But anyways, I have revamped my planner, I guess you could say. I have some different things going on, like new inserts. And I also have some new sections in here as well. So just going to take you guys through absolutely everything because I don't know, I think it's fun to see everything as a whole and not just, you know, skipping to one thing. So I still have the same dashboard. It is still technically fall. I mean, we are approaching Christmas and, you know, Thanksgiving pretty quickly. So I'm going to have to change this out sooner or later. Probably after Thanksgiving, I'll change this to like a Christmas dashboard. I still have a picture of my beloved Mochi, who, if you didn't know, is actually going to come to live with me after Christmas, so I'm very excited. I get my little chubby burrito back. And then I still have this Martha Stewart pocket in here, and I've mentioned this before. The only thing that I don't like about using this in my planner is the fact that it hangs over all of my dividers. So. That's probably my biggest pet peeve, but because it does provide storage, I'm willing to work with it. I could use some of the adhesive pockets that I did buy last year from the Target dollar spot, but I don't know. There's just, there's not really anything that I want to attach it to, and I don't want it to like have all this sticky gunk all over everything. So I'm kind of just sticking with this for right now and dealing with it. So as you guys know, I still have all my stickers in here, just like the Tsum Tsum stickers, and then the cute little foods with faces, and then some dinosaurs, because remember, at heart, I'm essentially four years old, and then I have some page flags from the Target dollar spot as well. So now we get into my actual um, dividers, and I only have five right now. I was working with a couple more previously, but I did share this with you guys. I completely gutted my planner. Like I do this every once in a while, probably a couple times a year where I take out everything that's extra in my planner and I literally go back to the basics for a couple of weeks. And I find that that helps to drive my ideas and my productivity. So I have my channel art, as you guys know, I love my channel art. And this first section is new. So the dividers that I have, this one is the inbox. And then I have current state of the union slash how you doing. And then we have monthly, weekly, and daily. And then the last one is for RAM dump, planner prep, reference, and notes. So like I mentioned, this section is for my inbox, which is basically anything that I need to get to quickly. So this is like my RAM dump and my procrastination list, essentially things that I either want 
to be able to see really quickly or that I need to get done relatively quickly. So I do have a note card on here and it says urgent. So these are the things that I need to work on first. And you know, I will, I guess we'll see if this actually works out for me. <laughs> and then this is my actual, this is like my actual um, ram dump. So, or, you know, a lot of people call it a brain dump. So I put do it Doug at the top because it's actually from one of my favorite movies, Mall Rats. And then, you know, cute little dinosaur sticker. So as I complete these things, I just highlight them and, you know, eventually I'll throw the page out. But it's the only bad thing about using a fountain pen is that get some smudgies. And I actually had a bunch of smudges and smears all over this side of my hand yesterday. So I finally got to experience what it's like to be left handed. All right. I just have one extra page in here just to, you know, add in notes or whatever that, you know, needs to go along with anything on my ram dump stuff. And that's pretty much it. So this next section is, what is it? It's my current state of the union slash how you doing section. Now I call this current state of the union because I think I was in fifth or sixth grade when those click books came out. And I don't know if you guys ever read any of those. They might have been either before or after your time. But one of the like main characters, she always did this thing called current state of the union where she would have like one list of like things that were in and one list of things that were out. So it would just basically pertain to whatever was going on in her life. And I've never really forgotten about that. So I figured it would be fun to kind of put it in my planner. And you know, that's how you get the name for this section. Also the how you do in part, you're gonna see how that ties in in just a second. But right off the bat, I do have my 2019 goals ready to go. And this sticker, this hollow sticker, I don't know, you guys can see that. This is actually from one of the recollections sticker packs that I got recently. And then there's this cute little puffy kitty that reminds me of my mochi bee that I actually got from my mom for my birthday. So I, like I said, have all of my 2019 goals ready to go. And I'm actually planning on working some of the, or work, sorry, working on some of these a little bit, you know, sooner just so that I can start getting into the swing of things. I don't really see the point in waiting until the new year to actually start this stuff. So I just wanted to remind myself that good goals are smart. So they're specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and they're time bound. So for the entire year, I want to save $2,500, drop another pant size, work on my eating disorder, be more mindful of my body language and how I speak to people, and then make more friends outside of work as well as go to the gym more often. So I'm actually going to show you guys how I came up with these and how I broke them down from you know annual all the way down to daily. So. Monthly, I need to save $209 to get to that goal. And then part of dropping another pant size is I wanna practice the 80-20 rule, which is basically where you eat relatively healthy 80% of the time and then the other 20%, you know, within reason, you can kind of eat what you want. And then as part of working on my eating disorder, I'm trying to tell myself moderation, not perfection as part of being more mindful of my body language and how I speak to people, I literally put do not be like Captain Fuckface, which is actually somebody that I really do not like. I apologize for the language, but we all know I'm pretty blunt. So this person is someone that I work with that 
I really cannot stand because they openly yell at people and they're very highly hypocritical, which hypocrisy in my mind is hilarious. But, you know, don't be don't be saying that you're perfect when you're not. And then as part of making more friends outside of work, I was, I don't know, maybe going to try to join some clubs or like do meetups or something. And then as part of going to the gym more often, I was going to track the number of times that I've gone and just reminding myself to not beat myself up if I do fall off the wagon. We are getting